Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show. And today I want to share a little bit about uh, the platform that um, I've been using for a while, but I've got someone that, that has been using it much longer than I have. And I'm going to bring him on uh, right now. He's actually not here in the United States. He's over on the other side of the planet, over in New Zealand. His name is Mike, and the last name is Wooten. You there, Mike? Hi, Brad. How are you? Hello there. Well, this is fun talking to somebody on the other side of the planet in real time. Right now, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon here. What's it? What time is it over there? Yeah, 9.20 in the morning, uh, a day ahead of you. There we go. It's a day ahead? Yeah, yeah. So we, we live in your future. <laughs> Isn't that cool? We should be working on the stock market or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the other thing also is uh, obviously I've got a bit of a – Kiwi accent or a New Zealand accent. So if there's anything I say or any words or jargon that I say, feel free to hit me up for some explanations. We'll figure it out as long as it's clean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, I found you on the internet because there's a platform that both of us, a commonality use, it's called Kartra. And for those that don't know what Kartra is, in a nutshell, it's for, for building things out on the internet so you can be marketing and promoting your business online. It's sort of a almost a business in a box kind of platform. And the reason that Mike and I got connected was um, we're on a common group for the Kartra platform. And we found out that both of us are also in the event industry, which I think is, is kind of intriguing. Um, my background has been from the vendor end of supplies and things like that. And Mike, you said that you were more involved with the sporting and sponsorship end of events is that right yeah yeah so i used to i used to organize and manage sports events uh and then i went over to um corporate side where i used to manage uh sponsorship portfolios for big brands so you know figuring out what to sponsor and how we sponsor things okay yeah, so that's uh, part of what we're going to be talking about, because I know that um, my background in the event industry, I did my event planner expo March 4th, and then March 12th, this COVID thing came along and it shifted and disrupted the whole industry. All of a sudden, there are no events happening. So I turned towards the good old internet to be able to uh, to, to keep the ball rolling, so to speak. And uh, fortunately, I found you because I know enough to be dangerous with Kartra. I mean, I, I, I use it for multiple pages. I almost don't use my web pages anymore. I really use these, uh, just create a page, and then that's where people can can uh, opt in to learn more about what I'm doing, and you have the ability to put a little video in there because I'm a, a big fan of video. But you mentioned that you have been on it for since the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was on their wait list to get uh, onto the product. So as soon as they launched on day one, I was into it. So, okay, so, so if anybody doesn't know what Kartra is and they're kind of wondering, what in the world is Kartra? I'm going to show a little thing here that uh, this is a, a, a link. It says magicbedmarketing.com slash Kartra. That's going to take you right directly to the Kartra page and you'll be able to learn a little bit more about what Kartra actually is, but we're going to explain a little bit about what Kartra is. Can you, Mike, what would you summarize Kartra as? Because there's so much stuff on the internet. People get on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a, a good way that I try to describe this to people is probably from a business sense. But first of all, Kartra call themselves an all-in-one marketing platform. So what they're essentially trying to do is, is be a one-stop shop for everything you need to market your business online, right? Mm -hmm. So that's their kind of goal. But the way I kind of describe this is like I put it into a business sense where I say, you know, most of us when we start out in business or we want to start promoting or selling something online, uh, we all have a very similar process. And that is, you know, we'll try to do things on the cheap. We'll try to do it with as little budget as possible. So we might go out, build a WordPress site or a Wix website. Uh, then we go, OK, well, now that we've got that up, we want to be able to do some email marketing or send out a monthly uh, newsletter or something like that. So then you'll you'll pick up like a MailChimp or, or an email software and then potentially, you know, you want to go even further where you go, okay, well now we want to offer some free online training and we want to sell some products online. So now we need a shopping cart function. Now we need to, um, you know, find a piece of software that allows us to put up an online course or something like that. 
And what happens is when you go down that sort of free path and you pick up pieces of software for each different piece of marketing that you want to do, you find pretty quickly that you outgrow it and it becomes time consuming. None of it talks to each other. Uh, and it becomes almost overwhelming to the point where you go, I hate marketing, it's a waste of time, it takes me so much time, right? And it's at that point when you need to start going, okay, well, what's a better solution? And that's where Kartra is really good because what Kartra does is it essentially takes all those different functions that I was just talking about and puts them all under the one roof, everything talks to each other, everything's cohesive, you can follow the actions of your potential customers uh, and what they're doing, you know, if they're opening your emails, uh, if they're booking appointments with you, if they're buying products, if they're going to certain pages, you can do that all under the one roof. So that's probably the, the most comprehensive way I think I could describe Catra to someone who's never heard of it. Perfect. Yeah, that it's sort of like um, instead of taking a whole bunch of different things and duct taping them all together, it's sort of an all-in-one platform to do a lot of these different things. And another feature that I like to use is the ability to tag people, which segments a list. Because in yeah, the event yeah. industry, you've got you've got event planners that are wedding planners, or uh, more conference coordinators, or maybe meeting planners, or somebody might be doing a. a uh, producing a trade show like what I do. So the event planner world is pretty diverse. So as a event vendor, say a person is an entertainer or they've got a uh, audio visual company with AV, they work in a lot of these different areas. So you would be, able, they'd be able to segment their list and tag these people and say, these people are corporate event planners. These people are concert coordinators. These people are seminar producers. These people are um, like DJ services or, or, or use music because there's a lot of different things and Kartra will separate all that stuff. So when you're sending an email out to somebody, hey, your wedding, and it's not a wedding person, they don't go, what do you mean wedding? I'm not getting married. It segments it like Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Kartra is really good at that and the tagging option, which is what you've alluded to is the ability to, I guess, label or define anyone that lands on your website or interacts with your Kartra site. It allows you to label them and segment them so that you can that you can uh, send them uh, specific personalized messaging that's relevant to them. So, you know, if you, in your example, you know, it's a good call, you know, you don't want to send a DJ uh, comms about the latest uh, photography, um, you know, promotion that you're running or, uh, you know, get deals on tables when he's not, you know, setting up the event. He's there to try and DJ. So, yeah, it's a good example. Let me let me uh, do a screen share, and maybe you can kind of comment on what I'm uh, pointing out. But this is this gives people an an actual to see because sometimes when a person's looking at software, you kind of want to know what's inside of it. So let me do a little screen share. If that uh, shared the screen. So like the first part of it is products and you can kind of see here, I've got my booths that I sold and my tabletops I sold from when I did my expo. So this is the list of products. So you can add, basically it's an un, unlimited amount of products. Isn't that right, Mike? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's essentially an online store, right? You can add in any products that you want to sell online and set them up in there. Okay, and then there's the ability to track all this stuff to see who's clicking on what product and yeah. One thing I like there that where you're hovering your mouse at the moment, I think that's an important feature too, is like affiliate. So uh, the thing that you that I like about Kartra as well is you could sell a product. So let's say, for instance, you are an event organizer where you go, you know, I'm going to sell event tickets. However, I want other promoters to be able to sell my sell event tickets as well and get a commission. You can set them up as an affiliate in Kartra and Kartra tracks the whole thing. It gives them their own trackable link, um, which then they can go out and sell tickets on your behalf and maybe they take a 10% commission and stuff like that. And it means that you don't have to do anything manually. You can set it all up automatically. Kartra tracks the whole thing, pays them automatically. It's like it's such a great tool because, you know, if you want to set something like that up yourself, you're going to have to get a third-party software, which is going to cost you about seven thousand dollars a year. Right. 
uh, which is, yeah. So having that under the one roof is phenomenal as well. And that's the thing with Kartra's. Kartra's, one of the, I would say this for people is that uh, Kartra is a very powerful and all-encompassing tool. One of the downfalls is that there's almost so much stuff in there that it can be a little bit overwhelming at times. So my suggestion when you get into Kartra is just to figure out what it is you really want and focus on learning those components of Kartra first. Yeah, and they've got it sep separated out fairly simple. I, I, I use pages a lot, but let me go into the next tab yeah. here. Communications, this is where you'd end up doing all of your email and you got your 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 all your leads that are in here. And then you've got yeah. different lists. I keep it pretty simple. I've got a monthly thing that I used to do. And then I've got my general list. And then you've got, um, you can do your, your broadcast and your sequences. So as an example yeah. of sequences, I'm gonna show them this real quick. Um, what I've got in here for my Synergy Collaborative group is I had this all automated and I would create these things as somewhat generic. They happen like once a month. And uh, it's taking some time to load here, but here it comes. Come on, come on, come on. So you can create all these automated sequence, just like MailChimp or AWeber and all that. You can do, you can do all that stuff right here in Kartra. These are a little automated things that go through. So that's another, I think, cool feature that is a, that's a common feature that is included in here in far. So. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And yeah. your analytics for all that, you can see what leads clicked on what, what lists and what broad, all the analytics element of it, so you can see what's going on in there. So the next tab here, and I'm not going to show all of these because, like you said, it's kind of overwhelming, but all these different types of pages. There's just all sorts of different types of pages, and they're really easy just to to create and then duplicate. It's really easy. There's a little clone feature in here. You can go like that. You can just clone it if you've got you know, two things that are similar but different. And then there's all the forms, all these different forms. They're also similar. The reason I have a lot of different forms is because different uh, pages to collect that information, that data, whether it's uh, registration data or just uh, lead generation type thing. And yeah, and so like form forms, this form section here essentially replaces software like Jot Form or Type Form or anything like that, and has it under the one roof. So, you know, you can create different questionnaires and stuff like that using the forms function in Kartra. Um, and then what the good thing does is, you know, it, that populates their answers and stores them against that lead in your in your Kartra system. So. You know, like that tab that you saw before under my communications, you can, someone fills out a specific form or a questionnaire that you've created in here. You can go into that lead under my communications, uh, find that person and look at all their answers and it's stored and it's awesome. Yeah. Okay, and this this is something that a lot of people don't realize that there's a, a membership element. I haven't got my built my membership out, but if you are like an association manager, and you wanted to create like an association, you'd be able to create that in a membership type site for, a, for an association. Yeah, the other thing which memberships are really good for is uh, also for like staff training and um, staff onboarding, uh, things like that, memberships can be used really well for. So a good yeah. example might be, uh, let's say for instance, you're running an event and you need your volunteers to have done some health and safety training or ticked off some policies or something like that, you can set it all up in here and you can actually track who's gone through and completed the training. Uh -huh. um, so that stuff's quite good from an event point of view as well. That's um, a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the way I look at memberships is go, yes, you could look at it as an external uh, sellable members area to potential customers or you could look, use it for internal purposes and go, hey, listen, we've got staff training that we need to create, or mm -hmm. potentially you've got an induction series that you need someone who's a new employee to, to come through and learn the ins and outs of the organization. You can set it up in these membership. Um, that makes a whole bunch of sense. If you've got a crew or something, a team that's coming in and doing something in, in a bigger event, you know, like you said, like you got the security team versus the volunteer team versus the you know, set up and take down people. You could create these little things and put uh, training videos in that whole element. That's a that's interesting because when your mind goes right to membership, so what does that got to do with me? So if you change membership into teams, it's a whole nother uh, feature. 
Yeah, I just I just look at memberships as essentially a place where you can create a bunch of content, a bunch of training. Uh, you can put in documents, you can put in training videos, uh, and you can track people's progress through it. So you can right. apply that in a whole number of different ways. And then the next tab here is videos. So you can start uh, housing your own videos here that you can be dropping into the different landing pages for you know, sales pages or training pages or whatever. And then the other yeah. one. Yeah. So one, cool, one of the cool things about just the video section is that this essentially replaces the need to, to pay for something like a Vimeo or, you know, if you are doing training videos, you know, you don't necessarily need to use like a YouTube and then have those annoying ads and things pop up 30 seconds into the video or a minute into the video or anything like that. Where your competitor all of a sudden advertises on your video? Yeah, yeah, correct. (laughs) So you can get rid of all of that and you can actually store all your videos uh, on Kartra, in your Kartra account itself. And then one of the other really cool things is you can actually track how far into a video people are watching. So for instance, let's say for instance, you have a promo video on your landing page uh, that is trying to sell people on an event or on a service you've got, you can see how far they're getting into it. So you could go, okay, well, uh, you know, people are only watching three seconds of this video and then they're turning it off and leaving the even, page. So that, that's going to tell even, you some really good information around, hey, maybe we need to change our video. Each individual you can see in the analytics? Uh, yeah, you can see, yeah, you just got to set up some uh, some tagging. Okay, very cool. So you can kind of, if someone says, well, I watched all the training videos. No, you didn't. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah and I've used a-, a few tools like that before online, and it's uh, I've had a couple of those conversations with someone <laughs> that's been like, oh, yeah, like I've, I've watched it all, and I'm like, no, you haven't. <laughs> God damn it. Then there's a calendar feature here, which is kind of nice. If you got something like Calendly or something like that, you can actually create your own right in here. And there's yeah, also calendars are calendars are really good. You know, like um, a good thing about calendars, especially it's an online scheduling system where someone can book an appointment, right? And so, you know, you can use this for your business. Let's say, for instance, you uh, let's say, for instance, a good example you had before was let's say you're a face painter or something like that, and you go to an event. There's no reason you can't set up an online scheduling appointment with. Uh, where people can pre-purchase their face painting session with you at an event, book in their time and have this manage all the appointments for you so that you're not, you know, you're not turning up at the event and be like, oh, come back in an hour type thing. You can have your time all scheduled in before you even get to the event, right? And and from another point of view is, uh, let's say, for instance, you're a conferencing event or something like that, you could make appointments with different vendors, different... um, people who are, who are expoing at the event and go, hey, listen, I want to meet with the tables person, person who's doing interior decorating, and just book in all your appointments before you get there. See, this is really fun talking to someone that's got more experience with Carter than I do because I never even thought about these kind of things. Like you're talking about like appointment settings at a trade show. Yeah, correct. Appointment centers and trade show. There's, yeah, you can set all that stuff up. And then the other cool thing is then – because you've got these other features that talk to each other, you know, depending on whether or not someone turns up or they don't turn up, et cetera, you can, you can fire off different, uh, you can set up different automated communications to that person like, hey, sorry, we missed you if a person doesn't turn up at this time or, hey, thanks for uh, booking in a session. Here's some follow-up information, et cetera. And you can set all that up before the event itself. So you're you're just worrying about what you got to do at the event and all your communications and follow-ups and stuff like that are all taken care of. And then uh, the next tab, and I'm going to kind of zoom through these a little bit faster because we're running kind of long, but... Uh, <laughs> so yeah. I get a bit excited about this stuff. So <laughs> I just like to keep the videos a little bit short because people got that commodity of time. So I, I, I'd rather them watch multiple videos than one big long one. But uh, then yeah, that, sure. the, how would the help desk element work with the event planner? Uh, so help desk is real cool as in, you know, like if 
uh, if someone's got any issues whatsoever, you can log like a support ticket, just like you would with customer service, right? So a help okay. desk is essentially, it's just a customer service portal. So you can set up live chat and help desk as well. So if someone's struggling to find something in an event or whatever, you could go, hey, jump onto the home page, hit up live chat by the help desk, and your your ops team or something could be sitting somewhere answering those live. So anyone who's lost, they can just be responding to them. Type so thing. even at a, like a larger conference or something, people could ask questions like, where's the next seminar on how to use yeah. Facebook or whatever? Yeah. Okay, yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, you can run all of that. And the other thing is, is the cool thing about Help Desk is it logs all the conversations for you. So you can go back and review everything, right? So you can go, well, what were people asking the most questions about or what do people need the most help with? And then that tells you, okay, that's an area we need to focus on for the following year. Cool. Okay, and then my campaigns, this is something I don't get into at all. I don't have any of this even set up for myself. Yeah, so a campaign is it's essentially, so we've talked around a ton of different features, right, and how you could be used, and you could set all of those up within, for one event, right? You could go, okay, well, I've got a help desk, I've got a landing page, I've got some automated emails set up, we're selling some products online, uh, we've got some videos, et cetera, in there, we've got a booking calendar, and what a campaign is, is a campaign is, that, is just saying, Is that kind of like what's here? Like what's right? that? Is that kind of like what's here? Do you see that this campaign consists of six tags, three automated? Yeah. Pages? Yeah. So a campaign might be my big event oh. campaign, and it's just everything that you've set up. I see. For that specific event goes into that campaign. So then, if you run another event, you could go, "Hey, let's roll out that same campaign again and just okay. change the assets." And then this is kind of cool integrations. All the different things that Kartra uh, connects with whether it be PayPal, Stripe, or authorized Dynet, uh, all these different things that it that it works with. If you've got some other things that you're already using, Kartra will integrate with that, right? Correct, yeah. Very cool. And then there's the agency. We won't even get into the whole agency thing. So I'm going to unshare the screen. We come back. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries. Well, that's very cool. You gave me some very interesting new thoughts on all this stuff. Um, the idea of using the membership as like a group or teams for an event, because my mind races wild because that's kind of what ends up happening is you got like your volunteer coordinator and they got to have all the volunteers and they got to know what they're supposed to be doing and where do you pick up your badges? Where am I going to get my t-shirt and all that kind of stuff? That could be all right in there and they can just learn it before we start, right? Yeah, correct. Very cool. So you say, hey, watch these three intro videos before you get to the event. Well, Mike, I appreciate you taking the time to share that with us. I would like to do some more of these if you're open to it. And uh, I will beam this up to the internet and we will try to get it out to some of the people that might be able to use it because it's this tool is not just for event planners. It's for anybody in any kind of business. Uh, you know, I've seen realtors use it. I've seen, um, you know, uh, fitness centers and things use it. A lot of different people use it for a lot of different things. So once again, if you want to figure out how to find it, it's at magicbreadmarketing.com. I'm going to close this off, Mike, and then if you want to stay on, we'll have another conversation. But other than that, I'm going to uh, turn off the share screen. And, uh, no, put you thanks, back Brad. Thanks for having me. So stick around and we'll have another conversation. Thank you, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that uh, presentation by Mike and myself. Um, I'm going to sign this off. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. And if you want to know more about it, you can find it right here. And if, you, uh, you know, if you're if you possibly interested in uh, joining me on my show, it's themagicbradshow.com. And if you have something, if you're in the event industry and you want some help, uh, promoting whatever it is that you're promoting. Go ahead and let's connect. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be well. Be safe. Be nice.